everyone, it's Joel. Okay, so first things first, I have a big haul. Or not really big, it's kind of small. But um, a haul from Michaels. But uh, let's see. First, I want to show you all a little addition, or not addition to my family, but um, a look into another pet family member I have. Uh, y'all have heard me talking about my cats and stuff, so I'm going to show y'all another one. Um, I'm going to put my hand over the camera so you don't get sick. He's underneath my desk. And that's him. He is on my, um, this is a, a husky, um, toolbox thing. And I put my ribbons and trims in here that people send me and some other little knickknacks and stuff. And this is my Zammy. He's so cute. He's pretty old. He's like probably 13. He's so goofy. He loves to hear his name. Sam. Sammy. <laughs> He's so cute. Aren't you boo-boo? Okay, anyways. If y'all want to see my boyfriend, there he is. <laughs> okay, anyways. <clears throat> so back to my haul. I didn't really get much for the giveaway. Um, I just got, uh, two things for each, uh, winner. Um, very simple. I just thought these were really cool looking. So, I got, of course, every girl's gotta have bling. They can never have enough bling. Come on now. So, I got the, uh, Studio 18 bling. And I really love it. I, I love these so much. And I, I decided I would get some for my giveaway. <clears throat> because they're just, they work really well. And you get a lot of them. Uh, also, I noticed that Studio G and Studio 18 look very similar. Are they the same company? I don't really understand. It's kind of confusing. And they both have dollar products, so I don't know. But anyways, that's going in the giveaway. And then I also got these little notepad thingies. They're so cool. And uh, I got the one with the birdcage because everybody loves birdcages. And it's a big notepad thingy that uh, cla uh, um, latches like that. It's just a twist around kind of thing. And it's a pretty thick notebook. So I thought this would be good for like addresses or ideas or maybe an art journal even. And you can totally decorate it. <clears throat> so I got that. These are really fun. So I got two of those for the giveaway as well. And for me... Uh, I needed to find some Halloween stuff for my Halloween mini album I'm going to be doing. So, um, that was one reason why I went. Also because I went, because Bona had a haul video with, um, showing, uh, all the punches and stuff that were on sale. So, yeah, I went and they didn't have any of the punches left. Every one of them was gone. So, um, I decided to go shopping anyways. Uh, so I got... A chipboard mini album. This is the square one. Uh, this is by Colorblock. So, got some of those. It seems like a bunch of companies are starting to make these little bitty things, these uh, little bitty mini books. So, that's pretty cool. And then I got these. These are by, I don't really know actually. I guess maybe Michaels. But, um, <clears throat> these are mini books as well, and they come with mini rings, and, uh, they're, like, tabbed. It's really cool. So I got three of those because I really, really like those a lot. So I got three of those, <clears throat> and then I got, of course, a key. There were a bunch of these left, only in the bronze color, of course, but, uh, they had the uh, little bitty fat keys and the really big ones, and they had these. Um, I only got one because I really don't know how it's going to work out how I want it to, so I'm just going to kind of test run it and see. And if it's gone, the next time I want them, oh well. <laughs> but I like these a lot. These are really neat. So I got that. And uh, I got this little stamp. I don't know who it's by. But it's a little bitty... My lighting is really horrible in here, you guys. It's a little bitty, um, I guess, dove, maybe? Maybe you can see it better here. A dove with a little holly or something in its mouth and a snowflake. 
This reminds me of the, the Jesus bird thingy that brings back the olive leaf. So I got that. <clears throat> and then I love how Studio G has started making their dollar stamps and including bling, like Prima's, uh, Prima stamps. So I, I, was, I, I fell in love with this, you guys, because I've always loved the Prima stamps, but they were just too expensive, you know? The little ones, they should only be a dollar and they're like more expensive. But um, I got the little owl, he's so cute. And it says, it's owl good. And it comes with the cute little um, rhinestones. And then I got this one, which is a tree. And it says, bloom where you are planted. It's got pink rhinestones. I know I got another one somewhere, I just don't know where it is. Or maybe I didn't. I don't know. Anyways, then I got these. And these are by Studio 18. And they're Christmas colors. They're red and green. Can't really tell. But they're red and green. And, of course, I'm going to be making some Christmas things this year. So, got some of those. And then, got some of these. Really pretty. And then, I like this color. Um theme a lot. <clears throat> it's like really pretty. I don't even know if I have anything that would go with this, but it's really cool. Probably a leopard print ribbon or something would go really well with that. Then, of course, I had to get some more stamps, and I found this little guy. He's so cute. Look at the little spider. He's got a little witch hat. And I've seen a bunch of people using this in their mini albums, so I had to get him. He's adorable, and he's by Craft Smart. He was a dollar. And then, of course, I saw these in bonus video, had to get them, I have no idea who they are by, but they are amazing. <clears throat> They're so vintage looking. And this one says, rest a minute, it's got a chair, and then of course I got the fly one. I love it. Uh, they only had the chair, the bird cage, and the glasses, and I didn't really like the glasses one, but they only had a few of them left, you guys, so I was lucky to get some. <clears throat> and then, of course, I got the rub-ons that go with it. I really wish I knew I knew who these were by. Maybe it's a Michael's brand or something. I don't know. And I got the chairs. And then the clocks. I really wish they had the clock stamp, but they didn't. And then, <clears throat> in their clearance section, I got some Recollections rhinestone stickers. And you guys, these are my first um, bling flourishes. I've never had bling flourishes before. Just the actual, like, bling stones. But I'm glad to get these. <clears throat> and then I got these pink ones by Recollections. These are only $1.49. <clears throat> and then, of course, I found these. They're Charm Frame Collection. I can't see who they're by, but it's Michael's brand, I'm guessing, because it has Michael's right, can't really see, right there underneath the price tag. And it's got a plane, a camera, a little postcard, and then, of course, the Eiffel Tower. And this was only 79 cents. So an offer I could not refuse. <clears throat> then, in their dollar bin, they had these adorable <clears throat> bird cages. And there was a red one and or a yellow one or orange one or something like that and then they had the gray one <clears throat> and the gray one was really the only one that would kind of fit in my room here so um, it opens from the top so I can put a tea light <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry you guys I just ate I can put a tea light in here I think it's really cute the other ones had actual hinges that opened like a regular birdcage would and then for my Halloween mini, of course, I had to get some Halloween stuff. I'm not done. I'm thinking about going to Hobby Lobby this weekend. But I got these adorable Halloween brads by Recollections. You got the spiders, the skulls, and the cute little bats. And they're brads. So cute. And then these flowers were gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at these, you guys. I love these so much. These are so pretty. I need to find out how to make these. I need to get a flower punch that's similar to this. But I am in love with these, you guys. 
And uh, usually I don't buy things like this if they're not on sale or if they're kind of out of my price range. Which these were decently priced, but even if I wasn't going to buy them or even if they were overpriced, I would still get them because they are just adorable. So, and I love the paper that they use. They have a skull one here and spiders and then a cute little web. So really cute. And then to go with that, I got the Recollections scrapbook album. And I'm not really sure what the shape is supposed to be. It almost looks like a tombstone, but tombstones don't have two little thingies. But it comes with paper. All of these papers right here. I figured, oh, well, that saves me some time of having to pick some paper to go with this. So let me open it up and see here what, what it all looks like. I was going to do this before I started doing this video, but I forgot. So here's the actual mini album. And then, let's see if I can get the paper. Here's the paper. And I don't, I don't know if it's, yeah, it's double sided. But here's the paper, you guys. Very, very pretty. Pretty paper. I need to go back and get the actual paper stack by a Ravenhead or whatever it's called. And it's pretty decent paper, too. Like, the thickness is really nice. It's got spider webs on it, it's got frames little cockroaches in the corners. Ew. <laughs> and then it's got this one. It's really pretty. I really like this one. It's got the spiders in the back. So that's all I have to show really. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more hauls. So look out and I'm hoping to get more Halloween stuff because I am absolutely psyched about this Halloween mini, you guys. I am a Halloween fanatic. I love Halloween. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.